it has been a hot minute since I vlogged, like a month. Um, I decided right after Thanksgiving break that it was going to be a little crazy to vlog um, just because of what time of year it was. We were finishing up the semester and the kids were crazy and I was exhausted and needed a vacation for my vacation when I went to California. Um, so I am back in school. This is the second week back, but technically still week one of the term because um, we had two days with the kids last week and we had a teacher work day last Wednesday. So <sighs> we are just... Yeah, we're starting Force and Energy today. Um, hopefully it goes well. I have a couple things I've got to prep this morning. Um, so, yeah. And I'll talk to you guys at my plan maybe. I'm going to go pick up pizzas today. Um, because my class competition winners decided today would be the go a good day to have a pizza party. So, alright. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, so I just got home from work. Um, Justin and I have to go grocery shopping tonight. I have a huge list of stuff to do. I did not vlog during my plan today um, or like during my lunch because I had um, kids in my room at lunchtime. Um, I had a pizza party for my second hour class. They won my class competition so they got a pizza party today. Um, so yeah, I'm really tired. There's nothing like teacher tired after Christmas break. I'm exhausted. So, um, I'll vlog maybe us going to the grocery store a little bit and that kind of thing. So, see you in a little bit. Okay, good morning. It's Tuesday. I did not vlog at the grocery store. I, <coughs> um, we went to the grocery store. Thank goodness we did because Justin's dad invited us to dinner last night at the Goose in Aggieville. Um, and we decided to do that instead of what we had originally planned, which was like hamburger helper. Um, so... Um, which was kind of unfortunate because I really wanted hamburger help, but I might save that for myself for lunch this weekend because I think it's not enough food for Justin because it's, it's meant for a meal. Like anybody that's poor that's had a hamburger helper for dinners before knows that that is meant as a meal, but for Justin, it's not enough. So, um, yeah, so. Um, tonight, oh, we're going over to his mom's for ham and beans, um, because we had ham on New Year's Day, and so whatever ham's left, she made ham and beans, um, so that's what we're gonna go do tonight, um, yeah, so, um, let me see what else we got planned for today, I literally, we literally got home from dinner last night and I did nothing, um, I was exhausted, so, um, I did none of this stuff, <laughs> On my to-do list from yesterday did go to the grocery store though so there's that so <coughs> um yeah so i'm gonna have a couple things i gotta do this morning obviously i'm gonna get that done um so yeah it's gonna be a fun day i'm starting motion today so well good afternoon so <laughs> I did not vlog again during my plan because I have I, I had to get so much stuff done and I did get a lot of it done. Um, excuse the sunspot. Um, I am on my way home. Um, actually, I have to stop and get a book for one of my grad school classes. Mm. It's from a place called Master Teacher. They do professional development books and stuff. Um, I don't know if anybody else is, knows about that, but um, Master Teacher does have a uh, like a store not a store like an office um in manhattan where i actually live i'm like down the street from it so i called to order a book today and they're like would you like that ship and i was like actually can i come pick it up because um i literally live down the street and the, the lady was like oh my gosh of course so i'm gonna go pick it up i told her i'd be there around four ish and it is 3 55 so it's gonna be closer to 4 30 before i get there but that's okay so had a crazy busy day today um the kids were just learning about motion and trying to take it as quick as or slow as possible excuse me so yeah i'm on my way to home i will see you guys in a little bit good morning everyone so it is wednesday january 10th um i just got to the school it's about 603 excuse the darkness um i am about to uh, pop in my breakfast into the microwave here in a second as soon as i get it out of the freezer 
Um, I don't have a lot to do today, but I think I have some stuff I gotta copy this morning, so I gotta double check my to-do list. We went over to Justin's mom's house yesterday for dinner, and we ended up being there until like 7.30, so by the time we got home, because they live across town from us, it was like 8 o'clock, took a shower. I could not fall asleep last night, it's almost 11 o'clock. I get up at 4.30. Um, I am normally in bed at like 8. Um, 9 o'clock at the latest. I just could not like stay tired um, I was exhausted and today I'm exhausted so I went and treated myself to a monster because I've been trying to cut the habit because they did go up in price um, but I need the extra caffeination today so um, yeah so um, hopefully I'll talk to you guys a little bit later well good morning it is Friday I did not vlog yesterday I did not vlog after school Wednesday you hear me out Wednesday we had a content meeting after school. I immediately drove home. Um, it was like almost five before I got home because snow was in the forecast for yesterday. <coughs> like yesterday morning. So what I did was I stopped and got gas because that's what you do. Make sure your tank's full because we were only told we would probably be put on a two hour delay. So um I uh, went and got gas. Keep going out of frame, sorry. And then went home. We basically just sat around and did nothing. Because uh, I was like, oh, I could just sleep in in the morning, which is true. They had called a two hour delay by the time I got home. Um, I got money in my pocket because I went to Starbucks um, this morning. And then at 6 30 yesterday morning, they called a snow day because it was blizzard blizzard like conditions until about 10 o'clock yesterday. So I went back to bed and I slept. Justin and I went to the movies yesterday. We hung out. Um, we ended up um, doing some things in that around the house and all of that. And then today I'm back at work. <laughs> Let's take bets how, how crazy the kids are going to be today. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Okay, so I'm on my plan. I haven't done anything <laughs> productive. I'm tired. It definitely feels weird because we had a snow day yesterday and then coming back to work on a Friday to have a three-day weekend. Like, <coughs> it's a little ridiculous, but whatever. I am so tired. I said I'm sitting here watching Plan With Me's on YouTube because I've become obsessed with my planner. Um, so, more so than normal. So, let me, let me show you. So, um, this is my planner for 2018. So... Um, I did end up getting the one I talked about in a previous one. So these are all, these are, like, was like this is January. This is supposed to go in the large teacher plum paper planner, but I kind of chopped it up and put it down here how I wanted it. And then this is this week. Like, I am completely obsessed. And then this is next week, which I haven't filled it out yet. I'm going to fill it out on Sunday. This is the third week in January, and I'm still waiting for this one to come in because that starts February, which this again is meant for a teacher, the teacher plum planner, plum, plum paper planner. This one is by far and away my favorite. It's a Mean Girl spread, so. Okay. So it is Saturday, January 13th. Um, I did not vlog the rest of the day yesterday because as you guys probably saw, my camera died. So that was fun. <coughs> but it is Saturday. I'm at home. Last night, all I did, I was at work till 4-ish. Mm -hmm, and then I stopped by Target to get a few things. Because I need a separate planner for my schoolwork because I realize with how much I'm planning, I don't have space to write, like, my assignments. But that's fine because I love planners. Um, I had to get a notebook because one of my classes is technically online, but we also meet. Because um, I'm taking a class through K-State, um, who's my alma mater. And then, uh, let's see. And then last night we watched The Grand Tour, which is um, on Amazon. And it's the people that used to host... Um, what's that TV show on BBC? Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it's like a car show. Justin and I love it. I love it because of the humor, because the guys have a good rapport with each other. 
and they just they crack me up and he loves it for the cars even though the cars are really really nice like last night's episode had a had jaguars and so like old school jaguars because jaguars are known to break down more than fords and i shouldn't say that too loud because i drive a ford now <laughs> um for the time being at least so um I've driven Chevys or Nissans most of my life, so this is going to be interesting to have a Ford. Um, so far, so good. Anyways, so now I'm having breakfast. I'm watching Pocket Full of Primaries um, workout vlog because she's training for the Boston Marathon, which is really awesome. I wish I was a runner. I don't wish I was a runner, but <laughs> I wish I had more motivation um, like her and wish I could afford like a personal trainer because I feel like I if I pay for a personal trainer I'd be more apt to but I really don't want to have that cost because I just bought a new car but this morning I had a banana and then I'm also eating this delicious uh cinnamon roll this is from um the Manhattan meat market but they brought it up from a little town called Yoder here in Kansas um freaking delicious um I remember when I used to visit my grandpa when I was a kid uh, he would take me to Yoder and we go to the place that makes these cinnamon rolls because it's a Mennonite community. So, um, I don't know, just like homemade cinnamon roll. It's really delicious. And then a glass of orange juice. I'm supposed to have lunch at the friend today. So we'll see. Um, I'm kind of feeling like a headache's coming on. So I kind of just want to be lazy today. And it looks like it's just going to be overcast again today. Maybe the sun will come out this afternoon, but, um, in the winter time, barometric pressure is awful on my head. Um, I get more migraines in the wintertime than I do in the summertime, which is surprising because we have storms here in the summertime, but whatever. Um, so if I get to feeling better, then I'll have lunch with a friend, and then the rest of the day I'm probably just going to be setting up my uh, planner for my assignment so I know what's due. Um, yeah, I have schoolwork to do, but we have no school Monday, so... Here we are. <laughs> so I'm going to catch up with you guys a little bit later. I'm going to continue to watch and eat. So see you later. Okay, so it is Saturday afternoon. I ended up feeling a lot better and I did go have lunch with my friend. Um, so there's a couple things I got while I was out because there was some stuff I definitely needed. Some of it's left in my car because it's just going to go to my school. Um, I got three reams of colored paper because I print, um, I copy on colored paper when I can so I don't use the school's paper as much um especially for things like foldables and stuff um that are kind of like last minute because i do send stuff to the print shop i also got some um valentine's day decorations and then i also got let me let me show you <laughs> i got this letterhead paper because i do teach a harry potter enrichment like novel study class like in lieu of um in lieu of cat time three days a week um, I teach this novel study class and so I thought this would be fun to give to the kids as they're coming in because I'm extra and I'm going to be wearing like my robe and my wand and we start that on Wednesday. So <laughs> I got to have that. I then went to also went to Hobby Lobby um, and I got the sticker pack that's got months of the year which are really cute for my new planner because that's the only thing I'm going to put stickers in. I also got gel pens. Um, because, um, my 90s heart is alive and well, and I got gel pens, um, for some different type of planning. I think that's it. Nope. Um, I also got some St. Patrick's Day washi for my planner. Super cute. Let's throw that bag away. And then I had to go to Joann's. Um, I had a 50% off coupon and a couple other coupons. I actually had two 50% off coupons. I got some new paint brushes because my crafting brushes are cheap. I got them super, super inexpensively and they're falling apart. So I got myself um, some new paint brushes. Um, I got ribbon here to hang up the sign that I created last weekend. That's supposed to hang outside my door. Um, I was trying out the oil-based Sharpie pens that I've seen like um, hipster art teacher and stuff used on her clipboards to see if it would work on canvas and it really does. It turned out really good. So I gotta hang that up. Um, and then what else? Um, oh yeah. I act like I don't know that I have this. Um, <laughs> 
sorry, it's like one-handed. Okay, so this is Hand Lettering 101 from every teacher I've talked to or has followed on Instagram that talks about hand lettering. They say to get this book, if I'm not mistaken. And like I said, I had a couple 50% off coupons. So I got this to practice my handwriting. Um, Cause I, I'm, that's another goal of mine. I started it last year, but um, it's another goal of mine this year is to continue working on my hand lettering. Um, then I went to Marshall's, which I talked about on my Instagram stories because I found something cool. So I got this brush cleaner because I'm tired of using my hands. So this is supposed to cleanse and this is supposed to rinse your brushes because one of my, my um, bronzer brush, I don't think they get clean enough from the soap. So that's there to clean. And then this is the big one. So I'm going to pause and unwrap and then I'll show you. Okay. And I'm back. So in my marsh or in my video um, on Instagram, I said I finally found Ray Dunn. My Marshalls is very popular because it's the only one around and I got Ray Dunn finally. So this is like a two way thing. It says work hard and this one says be brave. So I'm actually going to rewrap this I think, and take it to my classroom because I have some fun quotes and stuff I put on my desk. But I finally found Ray Dunn. Look at that. I'm just I'm like so excited so <laughs> there's that this next one is staying here at home um, to put my makeup brushes in I thought this was so cute all I paid was $4.99 this is insane I love this um, and then the girl um, that was uh, wrapping up my stuff and um, pay the cashier she told me that they're supposed to get mugs tomorrow so I'm gonna go write it open and see if they have them I'm that extra because I want a Ray Dunn mug so bad and they had a whole display and it was like half gone by the time I saw it so I grabbed what I thought would be beneficial for me but I didn't see any mugs and I literally look every time I go into Marshalls so that was my haul from what I bought today after lunch so yeah have a good I'll see you in a little bit.